In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to create a custom color palette inside Photoshop. You can see I have opened an image and from this image, I want to create a custom color palette using these beautiful colors. To do that, first I want to remove these colors in my swatches panel. To do that, you can click on the hamburger menu here and you can go to preset manager. It will open the preset manager dialog box. Now you can click on the first color swatch in your preset manager and hold down the shift key and click on the last one. It will select all the swatches like this. To delete this, you can click on delete button and we are done. Now we have empty our swatches panel. Now we want to add the favorite colors to this swatches panel. To do that, press the I on your keyboard. It will activate the eyedropper tool and now click on the sample color that you want to sample. When you click on this, it will add to the foreground color box and you can click on this empty area or you can click on this button create new swatch. It will give this uh, dialog box and if you need, you can add a name to this color and click OK. As you can see, that color has been added to the swatches panel. Now you can continue this process to add many colors as you like, like this. If you want to remove any color that you don't like or if you accidentally added, you can drag this and drop this to the bin like this. Now we have added the five colors to our swatches panel. Now we want to save this as a custom color palette. To do that, click on the hamburger menu and create save swatches. Here you can give a name to this color palette. Let's say anti-vfx5 and click save. Now we have saved our custom color palette. Let's say you reset your swatches panel using this reset swatches command and it will uh, give you the uh, default swatches that comes with free, uh, Photoshop. To access the lastly created color palette, you can click on this hamburger menu and here you can see the swatches panel that we just created anti VFX 5. Click here and it will ask do you want to replace this color palette with the uh, new color palette or do you want to append. In this case I want to replace. Now you can see we can access the color palette that we just created right. When you click on this hamburger menu you can see some other presets that comes with the Adobe Photoshop. When you click on this you can access those color palettes right. Now uh, you may be wondering where are those uh, presets are saved. Uh, if you go to the uh, windows and if you go to this uh, path uh, in your username and app data roaming adobe photoshop and presets in this uh, preset folder all the custom created uh, presets will be saved in this folder like this you can see custom curves uh, color swatches channel brushes etc when you click on uh, color swatches you can see all the custom color palettes that you created this is the last one that we just created. If you want to share this with your friend or girlfriend, you can copy these things and you can paste uh, this into their computer, right? And there is a, another preset folder uh, inside the in C drive. Uh, if you got the program files, Adobe, Photoshop and presets. In here, you can see all the default presets that comes with Adobe Photoshop. If you go to color swatches, and you can see these are the default uh, presets that comes with Adobe Photoshop. If you don't like these presets, you can delete or you can copy these things to another place. That way you can easily uh, access only uh, usable presets like this. Uh, in your computer, you may notice there are many uh, color presets because uh, that comes with Photoshop. I have deleted some of these presets because I don't use those things. Right, so that is how you create custom color palettes inside Photoshop.